Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. So at the end of match boxing as expressed is displeasure. Okay, at the end is not really happy with Team Fury and all the saga they put us through so sad to the point where man you have to look at what all these guys did and how they really they really take us serious how everything was really really done badly so in my, i'm gonna get our brother to, to to come in and of course give their take on it well let's listen to what he heard narrate uh what really happened and uh it's gonna be interesting right here interesting right here I mean, I'm, I'm not here to canvas or campaign. I mean, I'm here to answer questions, but if you want to know what happened, I was sitting at home. I think the kids had just gone to sleep. I just, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I just, I, I went for some El Paso Doritos, you know, like the tortillas, with hummus, with some chili sauce on the top. Settled down, I thought, that's just gonna be. Because you have to remember, at this stage, the fight's done, right? Tyson Fury's come out, told the world he's agreed. Fight's happening, August 14th, Saudi Arabia. You know, all the conversations with the Saudis were great. The escrow accounts being put into place, you know. So, life is good. And then I got a text message, two text messages actually, from a couple of journos going, I've just heard that, uh, Wilder's won the arbitration and the rematch is ordered. Do you know anything about this? And I'm like, no. So, but quite unusual that you'd get a couple of messages like that without any kind of foundation. So I phoned Bob Aaron. And I said, Bob? And he went, oh, you're not gonna believe it. Can't believe it. Just a ridiculous decision. We lost the arbitration. Can't believe it. I mean, so I said, what the fuck's going on? And he said, I know, I know, I just, no one saw this coming. I mean, they didn't even ask for the rematch. You know, they asked for damages and, you know, so. And I said, well, what are you going to do about it? And he said, nothing. I said, well, what's your next move? And he went, we're fighting Wilder. I said, hold on. I said, there's got to be a deal to be done. I said, you've got to try something. Oh, look, they're not going to be interested in that. We're just going to fight Wilder and then, you know, we can do our fight later. And I thought, he said, but look, I'm talking to everyone later. Let me come back to you. And I was like, a bit shell-shocked at the time, so I put the phone down. I thought to myself, are you... I have spent five months of my life being told that I can't do something. Right? And I've worked, I haven't given up, and we've done it. And you have told me all along that this arbitration process will have absolutely no bearing on AJ against Fury. And all of a sudden, just like that, you just tell me, sorry mate, it's over. I mean, it took me a while to sort of get my head around. And this is another reason I wanted a little bit more time before I did a lot of interviews, because I wanted to analyze the situation. People's reaction, AJ was always very dubious that these people wanted this fight. And when you talk about these people, there's many different people on that side, right? But if you study, I mean, you've got to be absolutely thick as shit if you can't look back on the situation and say, at what point did Bob Arum, mainly, and even Frank Warren, but I don't even know his involvement in this, at what point did they show any positivity whatsoever about Anthony Joshua fighting Tyson Fury? You know, at first I would come out and say, we're in talks with these sites. Oh, you know, we're in a pandemic, it'll never happen. Okay, well, 
I'm trying to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, good luck, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've had a number of offers. Yeah, we've had the offers, but, you know, the, it, it'll never happen. Where, where's the, the big money coming in? Do the deal. Massive money for both of them. Chance of an op a lifetime. Undisputed championship, load of money, coming off the back of a global pandemic, coming off the back of a global recession. Lo and behold, Eddie Hearn's done the deal. Oh, no, I, I mean, you know, w w yeah, but the money, you know, is we, yeah, no problem, I understand that. You know, we've dealt with these people before. And then, all of a sudden, bang, Bob Aaron. I haven't spoke to Eddie Hearn for two weeks, the fight's off. But we spoke three days ago. No, fight's not happening, fight's not happening, this isn't happening. All of a sudden, I get all the lawyers together. We get the, we get the final draft back from Saudi. Okay, everyone's on board. board. Tyson Fury comes out, the fight's on, I'm happy, it's all done. Spoke to the Saudis, got confirmation, let's go. Two days after. Oh, sorry guys, um, yeah, we've got to uh, do the rematch. I mean, what sort of ruling is that from an arbitrator to order a rematch with a specific date? And then, when the arbitration ruling comes through, you clearly see that Top Rank had the ability to terminate the agreement with Deontay Wilder back in, I think it was December. But the fact is, they didn't terminate. They kept planning the fight, they kept talking to Top Rank, to PBC, and I've got many, many thoughts and very valid ones about what has happened here. I want to do a little bit more digging into this, but the whole thing absolutely stinks. AJ feels that Fury never wanted to fight him, that Fury was just using his name for clout, I think there's a very valid argument with that. I'd like to believe that Tyson Fury wants this fight and wanted this fight. And basically, he was just fucked by others. But, you know, it's, it's very disappointing because I got to a stage where no one tried one inch. Let's just, just to clarify this point. No one tried one inch to ever make this fight, apart from me and AJ. 258 you know eddie hearn speaks nothing but the truth you know eddie Hearn was the one kind of getting take he took this matter into his own hands just to make it happen you guys have heard it um our brother mayo joe what do you make of this interview right here and Eddie Hearn literally exposing Team Fury. Those guys are more than fraud, bro. Please, you're quicker on this, brother. Yeah, bro. Um, I watched that interview and um, I really, I think that interview just literally exposed the lies. Seriously, that interview exposed the lies of not only Tyson Fury, the lies of Tyson Fury, um, Bob Aram, and the whole team, the whole Fury camp, those guys are liars. And, you know, when you actually look at the whole situation, from how do you, how do you go into, into a negotiation um, of such amount of money and you know that you're going to be getting half of the purse, you're going to be getting 75 million dollars and you're not doing anything whatsoever to ensure that the deal actually goes through you're not encouraging the main guy who is at the center of the deal you're not you know putting out positive statements out there to actually encourage people that yes this deal is going ahead all you did was to put negativity cast doubt and talking down the deal it simply means that they already knew the result of this arbitration they already they've been told that this arbitration is not going to go their way like and they haven't said that they have been they have been working on this deal they have been so this whole deal is not a new thing um they've been working on this deal since i would say even from about three four four months ago and you can, I mean, you can actually see the disappointments. You can see that Eddie Hearn 
is extremely disappointed. He feels, I think the way Eddie Aaron is feeling right now, he feels like a pawn. He even said it. I feel like I've just been tossed around. They were hoping that the deal would not go ahead. They were hoping that Eddie Aaron wouldn't be able to do it, wouldn't be able to deliver the fight. Unfortunately for them, they underestimated the, the zeal, the desire and the tenacity of Eddie Hearn. They underestimated it. They thought that it wasn't going to happen. That was what they thought. They thought that there is no way under this current situation around the world, there is no way any organization, anybody, any, any, any country in the world will be putting up so much money to make this fight happen. They couldn't believe that Eddie Hearn, they didn't believe that Eddie Hearn would be able to deliver this. Unfortunately for them, Eddie Hearn went out of his way. Eddie Hearn did everything possible to ensure that he delivers this fight. And he did. So they were boxed into a corner. They were boxed into a corner. So basically, obviously, they had to make up their lives. And Tyson Fury came out a couple of, a few, was it last week, to say the fight is on, blah, 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 blah. But if you listen to one of the things Eddie Hearn said, that AJ kept saying to Eddie Hearn, he said, AJ kept telling me that I don't think these people want this fight. I don't think Fury wants this fight. I don't think Fury wants to get in the ring with me. And AJ was proven right. He was proven right, but Eddie Hearn kept assuring AJ that, listen, I think Fury wants a fight. We're going to make it happen, blah, 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 blah. You know, but, you know, unfortunately for Eddie Hearn, he did not, I think he underestimated the, the, how, how cunning um, Bob Aram could be. He underestimated the lies that Bob Arum and his team and Tyson Fury could actually could actually pull out there. He, he really underestimated it, and um, unfortunately for Eddie, he <clears throat> you know he was dealing with um, with 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 some with, snakes, with man, a bunch of snakes. People. Oh my bunch God, red devils. He was dealing with he was dealing with a bunch of evil people. And, you know, I, in a way, I was a little bit disappointed that Eddie was still saying, well, if they want to fight, Eddie should not even be talking that way. Right now, he should not even be giving them that opportunity to make them feel that the fight is still there for them. Eddie should be saying things like, I am not going to put any effort into making undisputed happen. He should be saying that, listen, if they want the fight, let them make the fight happen. If they want the fight, hopefully, AJ fights Usyk and it comes through. Tyre, Tyson Fury fights Wilder and it, and it comes through. Eddie should be telling them, I'm not going to make any effort. You should go ahead. If you truly want this fight, you should go ahead. The last time I made a deal happen, you go ahead this time and make a deal happen. You know, but Eddie is still saying things like, well, yeah, we, that's if we can look at that fight later if they are ready. Eddie should not be, Eddie should not be saying that. He shouldn't be saying that at all. I think he's just excusing their 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 their, their, their lies and excusing their behavior. You know, Major, Major, how much yeah, of a fit? Let, of let, a let Major finish, finish I Brian. Bro. I beg, I beg now, nah, make it finish. I beg, brother. Okay, okay, okay. Major, you know, so I just I feel really really bad, man. These guys are not. Oh gosh, we've been we've been over this over and over again. These guys are a bunch of liars and. I'm sure you can see how disappointed Eddie Hearn. You can see he's very disappointed. You know, he, he, I don't know how how Eddie Hearn was able to deal with this. And, you know, this is going to be a total... Because when you look at it, right, AJ needs to start, start a new camp because everything he's been doing is conditioning. Whatever he's been doing has been has been geared towards Fury. Now he has to start not all really, over not, again. Not really, though. Like, he's been <clears throat> training all through for everybody. So, he's ready for everybody. Well, yeah, but if you, Eddie Hearn mentioned it though, he mentioned it that AJ, like the strength and conditioning he's been doing and all of that has been geared towards fighting Fury. So to fight Usyk now, he's going to have to use a different style. Maybe he needs to lose a little bit of weight now because obviously Usyk is going to be moving a lot and all of this. So all these things come into play when you look at it. It really comes into play because when you're preparing for a fight, you're not only preparing for like even your weight the weight you're going to come in at you know it matters the style you want to use it coming everything matters you know and i think that this is just a big disappointment um yeah those guys are just not they're not but you know what at the end of the day clean hearts will always win clean hearts win somehow one way or the other 
trust me, something is going to happen that will um, vindicate Eddie, that would glorify um, Anthony Joshua. But very disappointed in those those snakes and those lies. Thanks, but just on the side, bro, real quick, you see what I've been saying about Tyson Fury? Anybody, anyone that is listening, if I let me send a direct message to African Fury. Guy, if you're listening to this broadcast, go and look for somebody who is going to help you. Fury is not, I mentioned it that day, Fury is not going to help you. Fury is trying to use you to get through to fans in Nigeria. Fury is not going to do jack for you. He might send you, he might send you t-shirt and what. Bro, well, how much is a, bro, how much, how much bro, is a t-shirt? He will do it. Let's, oh, leave, a, let's bro, leave that on the side. Let's leave it on the side. Let's tell, leave it on the side. Tell me, tell me one fighter that Fury let, has helped. Let's leave, let's well, leave, let's leave it on the side. Hey, let's, hey, let's leave it on the hey, side. Hey, let's leave that. Uh, leave that. Leave uh, because he's a, you know, let Ibrahim uh, uh, come in and give his quick take, uh, you know, on this uh, right here. Bro, I can't. You can you can hear my just disappointed. Like when you watch the video, and if you are if you if you are a, 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 a what's the word I'm looking for? Like if you're a human being with like a with like a soul, and you understand what this man has gone through, you're gonna feel how my George just feels. I I have have the same emotions watching that. I felt so bad for Eddie Hearn. I felt so disappointed. I was fucking pissed off for Fury. Like all those same emotions I got because I'm like this guy worked his fucking bollocks off mate like you lot have actually and when you broke it down we, we kind of understood what we felt like fury had done but when you broke it down like you really under and he still doesn't want to go all the way and be like these guys are fucking taking me for a ride but he knows that's what's happened he knows that's what's happened but he just doesn't want to take that final step and say it like they've because because what, what what he revealed i had to go away for a second so i'm not sure if my audio touched on it he actually revealed that in the arbitration conclusion in there top rank top rank actually had the option of kicking out the whole fight calling off the contract yes of true calling off the contract as in yes. top rank could have actually called up this contract and said Deontay Wilder has no more rights but they didn't do that and then they strung Eddie hand along all this whole time which means this is actually a ploy by top rank they did this from the start. They knew what they were doing, and I find from it the difficult start. to believe Tyson Fury did not know about that. I find it very, very difficult, and I just felt bad for him. Like you guys are taking us for mugs. That's cool. We're fine. Whatever. Now, like, listen. I was still doing my job. My job still doing his job. BBC still doing his job. Our life was cracking on. Eddie Hearn has spent five months of his life. Do and, and and you also need to understand these things about it's about relationships, right? The reason why they thought he couldn't actually bring this fight to fruition is because they didn't see how it could happen. But he had a relationship with these guys, and he listen, he would have he would have put that relationship a bit on the line because he was using other offers to negotiate with them, to push them, to pressure them, to get them to do it, and he eventually got them over the line, right? And now he's exposed. That relationship, there would have been a bit of a fracture. Now, obviously, you know, the world can see what happened. So it's not as if they're going to beat him up. But that will affect their relationship moving forward, one way or the other. Right? You guys done all of this to be dealing with these snakes in the grass, mate. Absolute snakes in the grass. And the Titan Fury had the audacity to still try, even though AJ smoked him, to still try and come out and say your team knew? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking, if my team knew, what the fuck did your team do? Because now we know that your team could have actually thrown this fight out. They had the legal backing to throw this fight out and they decided not to exercise it. That's a fucking liberty. Yeah, man. It's crazy, brother. Eddie it's even said crazy. that they would have been willing to put up the money, you half of the money. Of the money bro. They would have been willing to put up half of the money, Eddie said. That even if Wada wanted 20 million, they would have been willing that they were desperate for this fight. They, said, they, said they, they would have been even, willing. They didn't, they didn't even oh. have the conversation, bro. They didn't even have the conversation. Like, I said, Eddie said, Bob, what are we doing? What are we going to do about this? Man said, nothing. I'm just going to do the fight 24th of July. Can you imagine? This man are trying to tell us, like, they're trying to make the biggest fight in boxing. AJ's team is fucking around. Send us the contract, all of this. 
all of a sudden the arbitration shit comes out and it's going what's the plan and you're going nothing we're gonna fight him are you that's that's crazy that, that, that's crazy brother uh let isioma come in isioma what do you make of this yeah i know yeah yeah bro and your buddy yeah so um so, so um i've listened to all of you <laughs> you know it's been so emotional and stuff like that but um i would like to come in and in a business perspective because you guys have said it all you know and um you know it's so I have, to, I have to look at it from the business perspective, you know. What is the actual thing that has been, you know, that Eddie have lost during this time? Five months, you know. I'm trying to, you know, the whole thing, the way you guys are talking and stuff like that, I was just trying to put myself in that shoe, you know, like, find, I'm trying to get a business done. I've put my energy on it from the day one. My opponents, you know, they've been, you know, like, giving me, positive vibes, go ahead, spend money, spend time in the during the coronavirus time, you know, which is very difficult to travel. This guy traveled. Sometimes the opponent will be saying, no, you have to bring like two, three, four or five possible uh, options so you can choose from it. This guy went to every single country. I mean, like the sponsors called them and all this kind of thing to put their, you know, uh, offer down. You know, and AJ, I mean, uh, the, the Fury team, they're actually playing along with all these things. You know, they're actually playing along. And they knew what they're going to do from the beginning. Huh. So where I got it wrong is that they could have informed Eddie. I said, yo, man, I really want to do this, but can you just give us a bit of time because we have things going on? Eddie will not put that energy, the time, the money, everything onto this, onto this fight. And at the end of the day, everything went on messed. And they, put, and they also put the zero effort to get the thing done. So that's why I said that. Full team, they are fraud. They, are, they, are, they lies a lot. They have that record. They have that record of lies, you know, you know that kind of thing. Deceived. Fully knew. And Bob even knew that the, the fight is, gonna, is not going to hold. But they keep on playing us, playing our on our intelligence, on our intelligence, and I think uh, what's what's it called? You know, they're playing on us, playing on Eddie, playing on AJ team. But AJ knew anyway. AJ knew that that you know that, that fool is not meant to be trusted. You know, but Eddie is so much believing them, maybe because of the bomb and stuff like that. He's so much trusting them. But he, I'm sure he's gonna feel he's gonna feel so disappointed now. You know. I know what it takes for you to put uh, your energy, your everything, because this fight could have been one of the major fights that Eddie is going to, you know, anchor. And this is going to be like the fight that is going to undo hundred percent without the the, the the effort of his um of his team. And this could have been an added advantage to his record as well. You know, I brought you to say that this is the only, only job that he's going to do hundred percent, which is all effort. Money, time, everything has been wasted, you know. And I feel Fury team should be so, you know, disgraced at this moment. To be honest with you, they should be embarrassed. They should be like covering their face when they're walking in public. They don't deserve to, you know, to to, to be like uh, put on top of the of, of, of the of, of the of the team at all, you know. They're so in, you know. And at the end of the day, they are even not apologetic. They just believe that that's what want to do it and stuff like that because they knew. From the beginning, they're playing. They're just playing Eddie. Even as at the time Fury came out and said, "Oh, I just had a call with the uh, one king in Saudi Arabia." All those things is fluk because he knew that anywhere from now that news is going to come out. So now he's not playing on our intelligence. That oh oh okay, let me bring this to them so that they, I can calm them. So that when the news comes, so you know, is I think he has a bit of mental issue on his head. To be honest. I, I don't know how he thinks. You know, he doesn't care about people's feelings. He, he, he just cares about himself. Whatever I do, I do it. You know, nobody can question me. That's exactly what's going on. You know, I, I just have a big um, uh, pity for AJ team and, um, uh, and, and Eddie. But my biggest pity now, my biggest worry is that it's for AJ. Because from record, 
we know that AJ is not really effective when it's planning for a, a match or a fight and the fight cut off and he has to fight another person. It's not that effective because he has this emotional things like you've been planning to go this way, you put your, your energy, your hope, your energy, your effort on this way, and suddenly the journey is being diverted. That's normally, you know, from, from the past, from the record, that normally have a negative impact on AJ. And that's where I'm getting worried now. That's why I'm getting worried. So I personally, I would prefer for AJ, you know, even to postpone this, um, if it's possible, this Os uh, Oscar, whatever, I mean, what's his name? Um, um, this guy, I want to find AJ now. Um, President uh, Osik. Yes. Osik, if, if it's possible to push the fight to next year, because I'm really scared now. I'm really, really scared. Because from the, from the record, from the past, AJ normally have this kind of, that's why AJ couldn't hold it anymore. You can see the fight on Twitter, you know, come out to him and say, you, you fucked up, you, you know, that. you know, that's out. But now, how can AJ sit down and forget about this issue of fury and move on? But we know, or we know that AJ has his eyes on that belt. That is his aim and his objective. And he's just about to get his objective, this happen. So how are we going to say? What are we going to say? How are we going to like hope that AJ will win this match? Because, you know, we, I, just, I just hope that they don't, AJ, AJ don't fight this year. Because I'm really scared now. Because this kind of thing happened again. Yeah, yeah, it happened before. And that's, why, that's when AJ lost. She wouldn't open her eyes for this thing to happen again. For him to have a second defeat. Or could it be a way of um, game tactics that um, they are planning for AJ to lose his um, his belt so that they can now start talking about AJ as lost twice or something like that? Could it be? Could it be the, 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 their game plan? Because they know that two of them, I'm talking about Wilder and Fuji, they know that they cannot defeat AJ. So could it be this could be a way of planning, you know, like let's use these tactics because we know that he's the kind of man that is very focused. Is very determined. If you now give him a bit of conviction, we know AJ is not that good when it comes to conviction. When you like uh, convince him in his mind, you're playing with, with his mind. It's not that good to control that uh, aspect. Is it, is it? Could it be a plan, a game plan? Could it be? So when they know, when Bob know that they're going to fight AJ, why can't they uh, cancel that contract from the beginning? Could it be a game plan? Could it be a setup? Could it be, you know, I'm just picking all this in my, my head. You know, so I, I'm really worried now. So I personally, I will, if, if I have that chance, you know, to advise AJ, I would just say, please, if you have that power, try not to fight again this year so that you can focus your mind, forget about this fully fight and focus on the, let, let's go. Because that's where I'm worried about now. No, let's leave. Oh, fully fucked up. Yes, he fucked up. Yes, he messed up. You know, could that be game plan? Could it be the way to get AJ out of the line? That's where I'm just my head is all about now. So please, thanks, thanks brother. I do appreciate you, bro. So, guys, you heard it from our brother Ajibade, Ibrahim, and Mayo Joe. Stay tuned for more exclusive bangers. There's a very sensitive topic right here and uh the snake in the green grass has been exposed fury and esteem no wonder fury was in um in miami fury relaxed and all the stuff i was like thinking how can this guy you he's gonna be fighting in saudi arabia but he's in miami like enjoying life i was like maybe the fight is happening not knowing that the water fire was already being you know uh planned okay already been uh talked to, talked about discussed and uh top rank Boharam i've always been in contact with uh you know pbc why all this fury joshua stuff was being talked about a shame a shame 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 to team fury fury himself bob Harum and top rank now that will fail now waste our time forget them nothing bro 
Jeg skal